Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation square root of x to the power x equal to x. Okay, how can we solve this? First of all, we can write this square root of x sign as x to the power one half. Because we know if we have square root of a, for example, we can write it as a to the power one half. So let's write this square root of x in that way. So we will have x to the power one half raised to the power x equal to x. Okay, what's we going to do next? Of course, we have a really good case because we have parentheses and we rate this x to the power one half to the power x and we need to multiply our exponents, our powers. So let's do this. We will have x to the power one half times x equal to x. We know that this x is not equal to zero because right here if we put x equal to 0, we will have 0 to the 0 power equal to 0, which is not correct. So we can divide both sides by x. We will have x to the power 1 half x over x equal to 1. If we have situation like that, if we have uh, some x in our denominator, we can bring this to our denominator, but we need to put minus right here in our power. So we will have x to the power 1 half x times x to the power minus 1 equal to 1. Okay, we have situation like that, we have same basis and we have different exponents, but we can add these exponents. We can write this as x to the power 1 half x minus 1 equal to 1. Okay, this one can be written as x to the 0 power, so we will have the final equation 1 half x minus 1 equal to 0, which is really good. We can simplify this a little bit, 1 half x equal to 1, and of course our x equal to 2. And this is our first root. We can, we can check it real quick. We can write this as square root of 2 to the second power equal to 2. And let's check it real quick. Of course, if we raise square root to the second power, we, we will have our 2 equal to 2, which is correct. But it's not hard to see that 1 will be our root to this equation as well. Because if we put 1 right here, we will have 1 to the power 1 equal to 1 which is, of course, correct. So our first root will be x first equal to 2, and our second root x2 equal to 1. And this is our two roots to this interesting exponential equation. So if you agree with this, if you disagree, maybe you have a faster method how to solve this, write your suggestion in the comment, it will be really interesting to read this. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.